Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know a lot of people following me here on YouTube are interested in Japanese or studying Japanese right now. So today I want to take you along with me to a Japanese bookstore and I'm in the Japanese section with books for studying Japanese, especially for the JLPT. So I just want to show you around and introduce the books that I've used for studying and the books that I want to recommend to you. And also I thought that we could look around and see if we can find any other books that seem fun or interesting for studying Japanese. So let's go! So the first book that I want to introduce and that I know a lot of people are using is the Genki book. And actually there are two books. There is Genki 1, which I think is equivalent to N5-ish. And then there is Genki 2, which is for N4 and maybe a little bit of N2, uh, N3 as well. But to be honest, I never used the Genki 1 book and just jumped straight into the, the Genki 2 book. So I kind of want to show it a little bit to you. So one thing I like about the Genki book is that it explains very clearly different grammar points and you get one chapter where you get like a story. So for example, two people are talking about going shopping or going to the train. And then you get a conversation between them that includes all of the grammar and all of the vocabulary for that chapter. Then you get two pages of vocabulary that separates nouns, verbs, and adjectives, for example. So it's very easy to understand and learn different vocabulary. Then comes my favorite part, which is the grammar part. And it gives you a couple, maybe five to six different grammar points explained in English in a way that's very easy to understand. At the end of every chapter, it also gives you useful information about different Japanese expressions. And at the very end, you get practice. To be honest, I felt like the practicing would be easier to do if you had a Japanese teacher to help you, but I did as much as I could and I felt like even though I didn't have anyone to correct me all the time, I still got a lot of good studying out from this part of the book as well. This is the first book I used for myself for studying Japanese, so Genki will always be my baby and I will never stop recommending this book to people who are starting to study Japanese. What I like about this bookstore in particular is that they have a lot of books dedicated to studying for the JLPT. The books that I feel the most familiar with and that I used in my Japanese language school is this So Matome collection. So this series has books on grammar, vocabulary, reading, listening, and everything that you need in order to pass the JLPT. I think they're pretty well structured in different sections and easy to understand and I like the layout as well. I used the So Matome books for the whole time I was studying in my language school and while it took a little while for me to get used to the books and know how to use them to the to their full extent. I did find them very useful and I got a lot of good studying from these books. So this series is really useful because they have a lot of books dedicated to different parts of the JLPT. For example, up here we have books just dedicated to vocabulary section from the N1 to the N5. So you can just choose whatever level you're studying at. And if you want to challenge yourself, you can also go up and study vocabulary on a level that's above your own level just to get ahead of it with the kanji and with the vocabulary. Just a little tip. They also have books that you can use for studying for the test. So these books, instead of teaching you grammar or vocabulary, they actually go through questions that might come up on the test. So you just go through the questions and you can test your abilities and see generally how well you know the level of the exam you want to take. And you never know, some of these questions might actually come up on the test. Even if you're not planning on taking the test anytime soon, you can still just pick up the books and choose the words you don't know from the books and just study them by yourself anyways. So these can be pretty useful even if you're not planning on actually taking the test. Okay, so the next series I want to talk about, I actually don't want to recommend, but I at least want to bring it up since I have used these books for studying before. So when I was in Kumamoto on my exchange year, I actually got one of these books. I think it was N3 for grammar from one of my friends and I tried to use it to self-study, but I didn't really understand the layout and I didn't understand the way they were teaching grammar and I feel like the explanations in English were like really hard to understand. So to be honest, I didn't really get a lot of use of that book. Chrisan, you said you used this, these books too, right? Yeah. But you didn't like them? I, I don't like it at all. Why? Like the grammar is so hard to understand. Like the explanations are really hard, yeah, right? I know, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, so not my favorite books and I don't necessarily recommend them, but if it's the only option you have then mm -hmm. I still believe that they can be useful and I just wanted to bring them up because I do think they're pretty famous and some people actually enjoy them as well. So that's that.
Oh, I actually found something here I like. So let me take it out. So this book I actually used when I started to study for N1 at the end of my language school year, second year. And this book was actually, I think, my favorite book for studying vocabulary. It gives vocabulary in really good sections that is easy to understand. And I feel like even though it was N1, there were a lot of words that you were kind of surprised would come up in an N1 exam. I think the design is pretty ugly and it was actually a little off-putting when our teachers handed us the book for the first time. But I've actually got a lot of really good studying out of this book and I'm still using it because we didn't have time to finish it in my language school so i'm still kind of going through the, the vocabulary that we didn't do and i'm revising as well i think maybe you have seen this book in some other of my videos as well and this is definitely a book to recommend for studying vocabulary so they do have books for the n2 and n3 and 4 and 5 of course it covers the whole jlpt and they have books for kanji, they have books for listening and grammar, as well as for vocabulary. But I've only used the vocabulary one, so that's the only one I can really talk about and recommend. Okay, I found another one of my absolute favorite books for studying Japanese in the whole world. So this was the first book I ever used for studying kanji, and I think it was the first book I ever bought coming to Japan. And just looking at this makes me warm inside. <laughs> I really recommend these books for studying kanji because I feel like they have a really good layout and it's really easy to understand. So depending on the level, the amount of kanjis you get to study in each chapter differ. And in the lowest level of the JLPT, you get a lot of example sentences and a lot of space to practice the kanjis and the words and the vocabulary that comes with it as well. As you advance in level, the amount of kanjis per page is increased and you get less and less space to actually practice the kanji in the book. But the way I solved that problem or problem was to just use a separate notebook to take notes and, and make my own example sentences. Personally, I've only used up to the N2 book and since this was not used in my language school, I kind of stopped using this when I started my language school. So I haven't actually finished this book, but going through this after graduating my language school, I noticed that I know most of these kanjis now, so I don't really need this book to study anymore. But I've gotten a lot of really good kanji studying from these books, accompanied with using flashcards and using separate notebooks to take notes and try to make my own example sentences. But I have a lot of love for these books and I really, really, really recommend them. I'm going to leave the links for all of these books in the description box below, so if there's anything you're interested in, please check that out as well. I was about to say, Johanna, lots of love. <laughs> yeah, say Wait, it, say it. my half heart. Okay, good. <laughs> when I started my language school, I started to study N3, but for some reason our teachers gave us the N2 books to study just the grammar and the vocabulary so we could kind of get ahead, I think. So I can safely say that these books helped me pass both the N2 and the N1 exam. I think the layout is a little hard to understand in the beginning and the explanations could be a bit longer in English. I think the way the book is structured in the way that they divide the different grammar points into different chapters that kind of have similar grammar points in the same chapters is really useful. And if you're studying to pass a JLPT test, I really recommend these books to just cram as much grammar into your brain as possible. These are definitely one of my favorite books for studying Japanese. There is another book series that I don't think I have to talk too much about since they're really famous and I think that people who are at least a little interested in studying Japanese know about these books but it is the Minna no Nihongo series. So to be honest, I've never actually used these books myself. Um, in my language school, these were the books they used for the beginner levels but when I started my language school, I was already above that level so I've actually never used them and I don't remember the names of the characters. Have you used these books oh. before? Um, it's like, not Eriku. Mira-san. Mira-san, Mira Mira yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And someone else, Sato or... Sato or uh, Yamada. Taro, Yamada, I don't know, something yeah. like that. Oh, look, it's Mira-san. Where? Here. Oh. <laughs> He's so popular. <laughs> oh, there's actually... Okay, this one, I found this in the library. Okay. So this is like oh. Mira-san's <laughs> novel. He has his own book? Yeah, but it's like based on the like the grammar learned in like for oh so it's like divided by chapter or something yeah. it's like his diary oh oh it seems like it's really simple too yeah so you can learn okay another recommendation for anyone who wants to practice reading japanese 
read Miller's diary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I've showed you a lot of the books that I used for studying Japanese and that I want to recommend to you, but I actually want to take you to another section of this bookstore to show you some other books that also might come handy for you. So let's go. Okay, so now we walked over to the kids section, which is really useful for people who want to study Japanese. Most of the kids books in Japan use little to non kanji. Personally, I actually used quite a lot of books, um, kids books, to study Japanese in the beginning. And I did attempt to read Harry Potter, which was a little too challenging for me in the beginning when I didn't know a lot of kanji in Japanese. But as you progress and as you read more and more, your vocabulary will get better. And your reading speed will also improve since a lot of the Japanese books are read from top to bottom. That is also a really good practice for reading speed and just getting used to reading Japanese texts. If you go to any bookstore in Japan, big or small, they always have a section with kids' books. So I really recommend you to go and check it out. And even if you can't read the title, just grab anything that looks interesting and fun and try to read it. And I assure you that you will learn some new and useful Japanese and you'll probably have a fun and good time reading a kids' book in Japanese. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it was useful in your journey of studying Japanese. If you have any questions about the books I talked about today, please leave a comment in the comment section or just check out the description box where I put a link for all of the books I found on Amazon. If you have any other questions or thoughts about life in Japan, life in a Japanese language school, studying in Japanese university, or just life in Japan in general, don't hesitate to leave a comment or message me on Instagram. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was useful and I will see you in my next video. Bye!